All right, Shalom. We're the Hebrew Israelites out here again on another weekend to, to prophesy the total destruction and downfall of your beloved country, America. First of all, we want to give all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai. That's who the world ignorantly called God and Jesus Christ. We want to give double honor to our apostles and elders, a great millstone that taught us the truth. And much love, peace, peace and blessings to your hopeful elect out there that pushes the truth across the four corners of the globe. All right, today, we're going to be dealing with the subject of, go ahead, bro. Uh, fear, man. Uh, I, I fear that the uh, fearful are not going to inherit the kingdom, man. Uh, so, with that being said, I'm going to pull out this first scripture, uh, the first Timothy. Uh -huh, I get it, I get it. Okay. Yeah, you can call out the script, we'll get it for you. Man. First Timothy 1 7, you know, the uh, Revelation 21 and 8. Right, yep. Yeah. As a matter of fact, we get the Revelation 21 and 8. 28, yes. Yep, yeah. On the top of right there. Revelation 21 and 8. <laughs> Revelation 21 and 8. Said, but the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable. Okay, it's not like the fearful, man. The fearful. What is, what is fearful? When you when you fearful, it's like a torment. Uh, uh, you scared that somebody or something is going to do something to you. Uh, or your life is. Can somebody look it up on me? The word fearful. Uh, you got to deny. Fearful, you. you the fearful are not going to inherit the kingdom, man. Go ahead, brother. What that say again? Uh, I'll actually, I'm going to start at verse 7. Okay, sir. This is Revelation 21 and 7. It said, He that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his, his power, and he shall be my son. You heard that? It said, He that overcometh. He that overcometh. Overcoming what? Your fears, your, your, your tribulations, your trials, man. So, so... He that overcometh those, the, the, the scripture says, those that endure to the end, the same shall be saved. So that's what he's talking about right there, man. Those that overcome that fear, them trials, those tribulations, man, those are the ones that, that, that may be the hope for the elect. You know? What, what it say again, brother? Son, it says, this is Revelation 21 and 8, but the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable. Okay, it says a fearful. Well, listen up uh, the word fearful for us, man. It says the fearful and the abominable, man. The fearful and unbelieving and the abominable. The fearful, man, the fearful and unbelieving, fear makes you not want to believe, man. Right. It sets some kind of, it, your, mind, your mind state becomes different. Right. I don't know if, that, if it's any, any one of you brothers that have ever felt fear before, but your body starts shaking, you're scared to do anything, you really can't move, you freeze up, man. Right. Fear make you freeze up. Right. Okay? Right. So, so if you fearful, to, you have about shooting out a shot, can't use you, man. Right. Because you got to step, there's, there's something coming, Jacob's trouble is coming. And if you don't have, if you have that fear in you, there's a good fear and there's a bad fear. The good fear is the fear of Jehovah Shimmy Yahweh Shah, man. So he said uh, the, fear, the fear of the Lord is beginning to wisdom, man. But then there's also a bad fear. There's a balance to everything. Yeah. See, so, that, that that good fear that you're talking about, bro, is as known as reverence and honor. Honor, kind. See what I'm saying? Go ahead, bro. So, so you, you when you're fearful, man, it, it, it halts your whole spiritual life, man. Okay, bro, what, what, what's fearful? Fearful uh, means feeling afraid, feeling afraid, showing fear, and anxiety, anxiety, you know, the living of scared to death, terrified, petrified, Ter alarmed. <laughs> you terrified and petrified of going out here and, and, and living for you have by shit and have a shot, man. As soon as the first trial or tribulation comes, I can't do this no more. I, I, I'm, I'm, I don't want to do this no more. It's too hard. Uh, uh, or as soon as some, somebody walk up on you because you're preaching the gospel, man, you want to fold, man. I got to appreciate the bank you are. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead. This is, uh, Sawak. This is Sawak 2, 
Uh, oh, this is Quran 2 and 2. It says, set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make no haste in time of trouble. Right, it said make no haste in time of trouble, man. Meaning don't, don't, don't fold when your troubles come, man. You got to stand firm and believe in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shad, man. That he going to take you out, I mean, take you through those trials and tribulations, man. Because right. uh, he going to put more on you than you can bear no way. Right. So if you're going through it, the most high know you can get through it, man. Uh, what, what's your, uh, can you get 1 Corinthians, bro? Sure. 10 to 13. All right. I had a, a, another scripture okay. back you up. Go ahead, bro. This is 2 Timothy 1 to 7. It says, for God has not given us the spirit of fear, That's right. but of power and of love and of a sound mind. What does that mean, man? <laughs> Yahweh has not given us the spirit of fear. That's a warning right there, man, that we shouldn't be fearful, man. He said, but of power. We got to come up here with great boldness, man, and of a sound mind, so you won't be bugged out. That's why a lot of y'all is bugging out, because y'all really fearful, man. Right. A lot of y'all turning against the apostles, uh, coming up with your own doctrines and beliefs because you're fearful, man. You don't want to believe what thus said the Most High, man. You don't want to believe that, oh, no, nah, that don't mean that. Why? Because you don't want to do it because you're scared, man. You're scared to give up that life that you live. You're scared you might lose your job. You're scared you might lose your wife, your children. You're scared, man. You're fearful. Yeah, how about you, man? I cannot use a person like that, man. Right. You gotta be, you gotta be bold and ready to lose it all, man. Right. What it say again in that uh, second Timothy? I mean, brother. Trying. It's, this is uh. Second Timothy one and seven. Yep. Second Timothy one and seven. This is second Timothy one and seven. It says, "For God had not given us the spirit of fear, but of power." And of love and of a sound mind. A sound mind, man. That means you got to be stable, man. You can't have that uh, that wavering faith that James talked about. You're getting tossed to and fro, man. Yep. You got to be sound and solid, man. What they call it in the street, ten toes down, man. You yep. got to be, be ready, man. Yep. Because, because uh, even even uh, Satan uh, uh, disguised himself as an uh, angel of uh, light, man. He disguised himself as, as, as one of the men of the Lord. And how you believe in all kinds of shit, man. That's why you got to put yourself in these scripts, man, and know what you're doing, man. And be taught by a teacher. You got something, bro? You got something to do. Come here, bro. First uh, Peter. Uh, two and we'll be 13 and 14. It said, and who is he that will harm you if ye be followers of which is good? They said, who is he that will harm you that when you're a follower of good, man? That's like a most I said, the most I said, really saying, I got your back. Ain't nobody got nothing on you when you serve me, man. Who is he? Nobody, man. Go ahead, man. It said, but if he suffer for righteousness uh -huh. sake. Or if he suffer for righteousness sake, man. If he suffer for righteousness sake, there is nothing that you have by seeing out that won't do for you, man. You're gonna have your tests, you're gonna have your trials, man. But but, but you gotta do it over like a good soldier, man. Uh, give me first Corinthians 10 and 13, bro. First Corinthians 10 and 13. But your about you, your shot is not gonna put more on you than you can bear, man. Like I said earlier, if you're going through it, man, the Lord know you can make it through it, man. All right. Go ahead, man. First Corinthians 10 to 14. It says, Wherefore, my journey to love, free from Now have no temptation taking you, but such as is common to man. 
They have no but tape. They can use but so it comes to man. But the Most High is faithful. He said the Most High is faithful, man. He's faithful. What does faith mean, man? Uh, the, uh, uh, what is it, brother? I, I got it. Hebrews 11. I'll get it for you. Let him get uh, faith. What, what faith is, man. What faith is, man. It's like your buddy Howard is faithful, man. Right. He won't leave you or, or forsake you, man. This is Hebrews 11 and 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. And the, it said the evidence of things not seen. Key word evidence, man. That means you have evidence behind you. How about you know what I got your back, man? Go ahead, bro. The most high is faithful. Who will not suffer you to be tempted above you, above that you be able. Uh -huh. But with what? The temptation also. Make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it. That I mean that I mean he's gonna he's gonna uh, get you an escape plan. So why are you fearful, man? He's not gonna put more on you than you can handle, man. Some brothers gonna have bigger trials. Some gonna have less. Just just like when you lift the weights, man. You gotta have that stress to build your muscle mass up, man. That's how it works in the truth. If you don't go through nothing, you're not gonna be solid. You're not gonna be. A strong, you're not, your spirit not going to be strong, man. So you got to go through something to get where you need to be in this truth, man. The scriptures say, uh, when you come to serve the Lord, man, prepare thyself for temptation, man. All right. Put the back you up. Go ahead, bro. This is uh, Sawat 34 and 9. A man that has traveled knows many things, and he that have much experience would declare uh, wisdom. He that has no experience, no little, but he that has travel is full of prudence. That's right, man. Though, if you ain't been through nothing like that scripture just said, then how are you supposed to withstand anything, man? Right. You got to go through something to be something, man. Right. Yeah, how about Shimei Shah is just not going to give you everything. He'll give you certain stuff, but as a treat or, or, or uh, throw you a little bone, like bro said, here and there every now and then. But most of the time, you have to fight for what you get, man. This is a fight, man. This right. truth is a fight, man. It's not just a handed out gift. A present, a free, what they say, a Christmas gift. This is not that, man. Right. This is something you're going to have to really seek. And, uh, what do you say? Uh, uh, what's the scripture? Uh, occupy, I'm trying to occupy this. How you doing? How you doing, sir? They say, uh, 